Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you my implementation of deformation within Unity 3D Engine. So let's just start with, uh, with uh, the basics. So I take my model, I scale it up a little bit and I rotate it like this. And then I want to add some components to this model, so Mesh Collider, mm, Rigid Body, is kinematic. I will explain everything later. Uh, and uh, Destructible GS, JavaScript, and uh, Dynamic Collider. Okay, uh, now I will do it, you know, I will do like this so, so you could see what is happening behind the scenes. Okay, this is our wall. Basically it's just a simple model with blank shapes, this model uh, was made by me in 2ds Max. Uh, and I will explain, you know, uh, the process of heating and the process of creating of this wall in 3ds Max later. And now let's focus on the process of heating the wall. So now let's just uh, hit uh, play button. Okay. Now let's just hit this wall just a little bit. Just boom. Okay, so now we can see that once again. Okay, that's much better. Uh, and now we can see that uh, some values here are changing. And also, you know, I want to say that uh, because of my model rotated not where, not where, not very properly, so some values here are confused. Uh, so, but really, you know, really. Okay, so. Let me just explain. Uh, so this is a vector of the force applied to this wall. And this wall has a three blend shapes. And uh, uh, this blend shape is is working, you know, when we apply uh, force to front side of this wall and the and the rest, uh, you know, the blend shapes are working if we apply, you know, the force from top or or from sides. So I want to have more, you know, uh, blend shapes. You know, I want to have four blend shapes. So uh, right, left, uh, front, back, right. Just you know, mm, for better experience. But now I have only three, just for test. Uh, so and now what's happening? Mm. So we hit wall from the front, but because our wall is uh, rotated like this, so we have a damage. Uh, so we know uh, from the right. So here, here also here. Oh, so keep your eyes, uh, you know, open it and look here. So here we can have a values here, a positive value or negative. If this value is positive, so uh, so the uh, so the wall was hit from the right. If negative, so from the left. So here also, if uh, if we hit the wall from the so if wall somehow affected from the top, the value is is positive. If from the bottom, or like this, no, boom. So negative. Also, it's about a uh, front and back. So the positive value means that uh, the wall was affected from the front. If back, if, so if negative, so from the back. And here we have our, you know, the uh, uh, three uh, threshold for the damage. Uh, so this one, it's our impact force. So, so all the values here, you know, they are many of them just for debugging so we so i can make all the values here a private and uh, so so 
and they can be not visible in the inspector. And so anyway, that's how it does work. So vector vector of force and uh, the, and the damage apply it uh, to each wall. I mean side of wall. So here here we have a damage applied only to left. So this is a left side of wall just because I rotated it like this. Uh, yes, left. I have here some confusion with numbers, but but anyway, let's just continue with our work. So let's just hit 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 this button, and I cannot see. So, okay, I can I can hear now sound. I was wrong. Now let's hit uh, like this. Okay, <laughs> okay, I destroyed the wall, but anyway, so now we can see that the damage was applied also to front of this wall. So once again, it was a, it is a front just because I rotated the wall like this. Uh, so now we can see that you know the damage is not very big, and our wall is is destroyed and you know fallen down just because we hit the number you know to make it uh, you know the fall. So and let me just show you this wall. So first thing I need is to add a light here. Game object light so you can see. So, uh, like you know, uh, so the concrete wall has uh, two layers, right? So, first layer is this one, uh, gray layer, and when you hit this wall, right, any concrete wall, you, you know, if you hit more and more, more and more, still, uh, you know, soon you will see, uh, you know, second layer of this wall. So, I mean this layer. So, you know, uh, as more damage this wall has, as you know, uh, as you know, sooner you will see, you know, this uh, second layer of this wall. So, this white layer. And this is how it does work. So, you know, there are many scripts on the internet, you know, about deformation of the walls or of any other surfaces, but I wanted to implement implement my own script because you know uh, so let's just you know say that you know our car is uh, hitting a wall right and uh, so mm, I will place a cube here to show you what I mean so uh, so so okay right so uh, now you know our car you know hits the cube right and in you know many other scripts so uh, there will be uh, no car surface anymore and you hit it again once again and you know the car is deforming like this and and again and again and again and there is no limit you can deform your car you know uh, as long as it's possible as more as it's possible but I wanted to make a limit for the deformation so you know uh, if we hit this car more so uh, so we we cannot you know make you know any further deformation, only you know the limit of the blend shape, like this I made you know I implemented here. So and also I want to say that this uh, wall it's you know has only one texture, so only one draw call and I believe it's very good for uh, for mobile games. Okay, I have here. Graphic simulation, no emulation. Okay, that's much better. Uh, so only one draw call, and uh, you know, I think you know it's it's much better for mobile games because you know when you use your CPU and GPU where you know where frequently for mobile game, you know it can you know kill your device. Also, let me show you know uh, other script. This script is very you know. Uh, heavy and I will uh, you know mm, optimize it so this script is 
they name it collider so how it does work so if you if you remember I put the component mesh collider and it was empty uh, so let me show you what is happening so uh, let's just uh, scale it up once again let's just hit play button again so uh, where is it uh, so you 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 cannot see it here but it happens so within the script the script there's a function that you know uh, makes uh, our collider uh, so you know mm, so uh, that turns our mesh to our collider so and here you you can have you know a couple of options here so in, in this script so I wanted to to make it a, a convex but uh, it's not very good here just for test and you know also keep in mind that you have to uh, uh, update collider only when the value is changing so I will do it later but you know this is how it works so I change my blend shape and you and you can see that the collider is changing also it's now from side it, it's hit, hit from side from top and this is how our deformed wall uh, looks like create other okay it is a fully deformed wall oh what is happening I don't see anything okay guys you know ah uh, so this is you know two layers of this wall uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helped someone of you and uh, if you have some questions feel free to ask me in the comments. Feel free to, to, to make some critics and do everything you want. And have a good time. Bye bye. And have a good time. Bye bye.